This video is going to start off a little random. I put up a new LED shop light above the lathe, so if you think my bench is a bit more messy than usual, it's not actually more messy, it's just that you can see everything better. But seriously, these lights are really impressive. I'll put a link in the description in case anyone is looking for some new lights. As for this project, in part 1 of the series, I made the handle to hold the hex-shaped thread dies out of aluminum, followed by the guide with an MT2 Morse taper to fit the tailstock out of mild steel. For this part of the project, I want to replace the Allen head cap set screw I used for testing for something that's a little nicer looking and that doesn't need tools. So I'm going to use this piece of half inch brass round stock to make a special thumb set screw. First, I just need to mark how long I need the threads to be, and then I can get started with the machining. Now that the small diameter is roughly 6 millimeters, I can try the new tailstock die holder to put M6 by 1 threads on the part. With the threads finished, I added some beveling to the top and bottom of the grip part of the thumbscrew in preparation to part it off. I also wanted to quickly smooth out any rough edges from the threading. At this point I would normally just put the threads in the chuck or hold the part in the die to do one last facing cut and the final sanding. But since I'm going to be making a jig using some of the 8mm hex stock anyway, I decided to just go ahead and make the jig now. Now that the thumb screw is more or less finished, the last bit of machining that needs to be done is to create uniform indents around the perimeter of the head of the screw to provide grip when turning. This is an operation that is easily done with a mill that has an indexing fixture. So if you want to be able to do something, you have to either be rich or creative. Since I don't have either a mill or an indexing fixture, it's time to be creative. I'm going to be using a high speed steel four flute end mill bit and mounting it in the chuck of the lathe. Next, I'm going to be holding the hex stock jig in one of the tool holders.
The idea is that I can line up the center of the thumb screw part with the center of the end mill bit in the chuck by adjusting the height on the tool post. As a wise man once said, if it looks straight, it is straight. Adding a bit of medium thickness CA glue will help hold the thumb screw in the jig. Once adjusted and secure, the depth of the cut can be tested. With the cut depth set and the first cut is made, keeping everything else the same, the jig can simply be loosened and rotated in the tool holder for the next cut, and this process repeated until all six cuts are made. Unless something is moved or loose, the hex stock should provide six perfectly indexed indents in the head of the thumb screw. After all six cuts, an inspection shows a really nice looking gear shaped pattern to the point that I'm actually impressed this works so nicely. All that's left to do now is smooth out the sharp edges, add a decorative recess to the top, and do some final polishing. A bit of heat is useful to release the grip of the CA glue. And that's it! A really fantastic looking and functional thumb set screw to hold the thread dies in the holder of the tailstock hex die holder handle. Finally, a quick test proves that this set screw is going to work as nicely as it looks. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you found something interesting in this video. Hit that thumbs up if you liked what you saw, subscribe if you're not already, and definitely leave a comment with any thoughts or suggestions.